declutter, I need to learn how to talk, declutter some items with you. Um, this is very important. Whenever you learn to declutter and organize your things, this is something that is a learned manner and that you will keep doing constantly. Once you start, you never stop, but it's also a good thing because it takes less stri stress off your life and off your shoulders. You could focus your time more on your kids and your family and just having fun. Um, so yeah, let's go through and I'll show you some of the ways that I do it and maybe that can help you. Okay, so we are in my lovely kitchen where I just made some beautiful iced coffee. Actually, you know what? Think, and I'm gonna put that in the laundry. So we're gonna start with this cabinet. So a lot of these things I know I use, like I won't be decluttering that drawer cause it's my husband's smoking and barbecuing drawer. And then a lot of these things I use. So I could go through and organize these well, but you know, I've got things like, um, you know, um, cutlery for parties. And I have things like, now this is what I need. These acrylic bins at um, the Dollar Tree, I need to get more of because they're in the makeup section if they have any more because they corral things well. You'll see them a few times in my kitchen. I have them in my fridge for my butter. Um, and you know, this is our junk drawer. I declare my junk drawer once a week. That is a must. This is like stuff I use for parties and for my crock pots. So I can't wait to cut or much of, declutter much of that. I need to learn how to talk everyone. Um, and then I have something down here for party trays that I just recently bought. Um, I won't be keeping these. This is for my next birthday. Um, that way I can just use it and throw, throw it away um, for that ma lazy mom. Don't judge. Um, so I got Tupperwares back there for the kids' lunches, and then right here is stuff for parties, and like paper plates and paper bowls. And then I have some press and seal and stuff in there. I get the really big thing of um, tin foil. And then see, I can't declutter these things because we use all of these. I actually got these from the Dollar Tree. Um, a little hack right here. If you have lids for jars and cans, um, lids of any kind really, go get these little crates from the Dollar Tree and they stack well in there. It fits three back. And then, um, yeah, we use that. That's for lemons. I got that at the um, thrift store. This is a drawer for camping. So this is along the lines of organizing. Um, I had nowhere to put my popsicle maker, so that's where it got stuck. And these are some lids for mason jars and they have straws in here. And then like, um, tops for those little containers that I have and my chopper. Everybody needs to go to Walmart. This chopper is the best. All right, let's get to the decluttering process. So I, oh, so that's organizing. That's some ideas of what you can put in your drawers. You know what? Before I declutter, let me show you, since this is declutter and organize, let me show you something I did with these drawers. Now, excuse the messed up liner. I open and close these a lot. But this is kind of how I organize this. So, I like to organize it to color. Remember, I use these very well, so it's not super perfect. But these are all my husband's tools. My husband's knives for smoking, barbecuing, um, just sharper knives, a, sh a knife sharpener, that's funny. So I just keep them corralled for him so he knows where they always are. Next to my rolling pin so it doesn't roll around the drawer. 
Um, and these are all the things that I use for parties. I got pizza cutters, cake servers. I mean, I can use them every day, but extra tongs for parties because we always need tongs for parties. Um, and then measuring cups. This is just, this, this just looks the cutest. That's why I did that. And then this is a scraper for dough and stuff. So, so this is like my party drawer slash, slash extra drawer slash my husband's stuff. And then here is our everyday drawer. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. This is what I did. I went to Goodwill. I purchased this container and it's like metal or something. Um, and I purchased it. And this is what I keep my silverware in. I have a lot of silverware for a lot of different things. Uh, big ones for me and my husband, small ones for the kids. Um, so yeah, you can see my candle burners at the top in that awkward place where you don't know where to put anything. I got knives. And then over here, I found this white one from uh, Goodwill as well. Uh, way long time after and since my cabinets are like light white and black and that's kind of like a theme kind of in this kitchen a little bit i decided that this would be perfect and it fit the rest of my um like i had to have a place for my small spoons and then kids my kids like soup spoons so i had to put some in there for them um these are serving spoons and then i've got some oops they got a little messed up but they're all crowded it's all good they got some tea i got some teaspoons I love eating yogurt with these. These are so much fun. And my they're so long. They're my favorite. And my daughter loves them. Kids love things like that. And then I have a place to corral my little scoops. I use these to make meatballs. And then um, in here is just um, serving stuff and some more tongs. As you can see, I have a tong obsession. But I use them all, like I said, for parties and for cooking. Um, they help to lift up the food so you don't scratch your surfaces. So it all makes sense. So this is a way you can organize your drawers. Um, I can just easily open both of these and get anything that I need for any party. And this is basically all I need. And I just have one extra drawer for the plastic stuff that doesn't look cute. Okay, on to decluttering. So in this cabinet, when I'm decluttering, I'm trying to find stuff that I don't use or haven't used in a very long time. Now, if it is a sentimental item, like I have a dish right here and right here that are white that I got from my mother-in-law, I make use of those. I don't necessarily bake in them too much. Sometimes I do in that, but I use them as serveware and serving bowls for certain parties during the holiday. Um, when I don't want to use my glass bowls, my, my glass mixing bowls. And so like this dish, actually there's two of those, and this dish and these two dishes I use for chips. Well, this one, this one, and this one I use for chip, chips as like serving bowls. And then this one I use for my cheese and crackers, this white one. So I can't really declutter those, but I'm making sure that I'm using my sentimental items. They're not packed away. You know, um, when you don't have loved ones with you and you have their stuff, um, they would want you to make use of them. So that's what I'm doing. I'm assuming as much. Um, and so I already see something that I can declutter here. And that is, so I use this one to make bread, but I have two of these glass dishes. So I'm going to take the glass dishes down. Now. I use this one all the time. There's enough food that fits my family. I can fit lasagna in there. It doesn't make too much. It's the perfect size. This one is, and this glass is a little bit thinner. It's still thick, but it's thinner. This is a thick glass. I don't use it. It's too much space. So I think what I'm going to do to declutter it is ask my husband if he wants it because I do not use this and I don't want it just chilling in my cabinet. And if he wants it, he can use it for smoking. If not, we can go ahead and donate it to someone else. All right, so you're up in my cabinet right now. It's kind of a weird angle, but this is what I'm keeping. So I'm keeping all of these normal looking mason jars. Um, the reason for this is I use these for sauces, to store sauces, and I use them to 
store extra food. So let me give you a tour, uh, or let me show you what lo lo looks like on the inside, and then I'll hop down and show you what I use these for. So, but there is some extra space in the back now as to where they're kind of in the back jammed, and nothing on this side, just a few extra big glasses on that side. One has, I have one with a handle, so we'll just keep one of those. So let me get down. So this is what I'm decluttering. I actually already decluttered my glasses, so that's why I don't have this many, or that many, but I'm decluttering these smaller Atlas Mason jar ones because I've noticed that I don't use these a lot. I actually use these for drinking more. And if I want more of these, all I have to do is go ahead and open up one of my, if you look at my pantry tour, I have some Alfredo sauces. And these, I just have to open up another Alfredo sauce, clean it out, clean the sticker off, and then bam, I got another jar. So this is perfectly okay to declutter because I can always get another one if I get some more Alfredo sauce. And this was actually one of the Alfredo sauces from Sam's that I'm keeping because we actually use these jars more. Um, yeah, these actually hold ice longer than these. I don't know if that has something to do with the way it was designed. So then I'm gonna keep the big ones because again, I store food in these like leftovers or leftover soups and we drink out of them and we actually like the bigger ones the most. And these I'm keeping because these are the ones with the lid and the straw. And I actually use these for parties to put cutlery in um, or like straws in. Um, it's like a fancy little design on it. So everything I'm using is multi-purpose. One to drink out of, two to display cutlery or straws, three to, to use for leftovers. So multi-purpose, that's what you wanna keep. And if you see yourself not using it so much, you can get rid of it. Um, and that's actually a good tip is when you get a, a spaghetti sauce, clean the jar out and use it as a cup. Don't go buy cups. We have already made cups ready for us to use. And I used it twice and bought it once. So that's a suggestion for you. So you're not spending too much. And um, my husband hasn't used this in a while, so I'm gonna ask him if he wants it. And then if he wants it, we'll keep it. But that's what I'm choosing to declutter for that. Let me give you another tip on organizing. You see those three jars with my candy in it? So I bought some candles from Walmart. If you go into the candle section at Walmart, you'll see these candles with the wooden tops. I burn the candle and you know when you blow the candle out? Don't put this top on it. Put a mason jar lid over the top of this and then just set this on top of that mason jar lid. That way you don't get the smell of smoke in the wood of the lid, okay? You don't, or, or just, you know, blow it out, let, let it, let the smoke come out of the candle and then you can put the lid on. Now, when you're done with the candle, clean your jar out really well. Um, let it soak, clean it a few times. And then what I did was I cleaned this lid super well and then I soaked it in coconut oil and you wanna let it air out for a few days. But I just cleaned them all really well, soaked the lid in coconut oil cause it's wood. It did wonders for the wood too. And now I display them as organizing things. So, you, so it's a hack to use the jars that you already have. You don't have to go shopping at the store necessarily. So yeah, I didn't find too much to declutter today because I already decluttered, but I wanted to give you guys an idea there out of an other already decluttered kitchen, what I found I can declutter. And I'm sure I can find more next time too. So go in your kitchen, look in your cabinets guys. See what you can find to declutter. I'm sure you can find things that you are not using and use your main rules. One, tell yourself when's the last time you used it? If it's a holiday item and it's not going to fit in your holiday bins, you might want to think about donating it or stick it in your holiday bin. Those are your, those are two options for holidays. I myself have serving that I use, serveware that I use for holidays and normal parties and just normal every day. So find items that you have in your home that you can use for multi-purpose items and stick them in a place. I have a pantry for, you know, eating and every day. And then I have a pantry for uh, parties and for everyday use. And 
Try to find a way to make your kitchen work for you. That way you don't get your stuff lost in your cabinets. And when I go into my cabinets, I wanna make sure that there is free space. You don't want it to be full and cluttered and have things stacked on top of each other and have glass fall down and break. And now you just ruined your beautiful dish with this other dish that you didn't even use. And if you put it in a thrift store, someone that will use it can actually purchase it. Like maybe a teacher needs a dish for her school project. And she went to the store and found the one you donated. So I know I found a lot of good pieces. So like these are sentimental items. So I'm gonna keep them, but I'm not gonna put that sentimental attachment on it. I'm gonna use it. Cause somebody made that for us to use. So when you're organizing and decluttering, make sure you have a place for it. Make sure there is space in your cabinet to have it free to where you're not stacking it. And also make sure, I said that you're using it, right? Make sure that you, um, make sure that you do use it. So make sure you're using it, but don't, don't forget to use it. I don't know if that made sense, but it made sense in my head. So I hope you guys like this video. Just little tips, tricks, and hacks. And I'm probably gonna be doing a little series where I go around my house and show you different things that I have organized and decluttered. But just remember, you will never start once, you will never stop once you start. So, you know, find those items, even if it's just this many. I'm not using them. I have something that I can ask my husband about, but I'm not using them. So why not give them to somebody that will? All right, guys, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment down below on what you thought. Um, click that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.